So, hey guys, welcome to Comic Gaming. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below. Hit the like button and maybe even share with your friends. Good job. We have cookies. And milk. Might be semen, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Again. This is your weekly comic book and back issue review. Today I'm doing Superman Strength Part 2 of 3. I will tell you right now, I have not read number 1 or number 3 yet. Um, I found this at Geeking Out Comics, so I picked. I went ahead and picked it up. I was a little disappointed. It was, it was an okay read. It shows there's a lot of depth to the character of Superman. Uh, it shows why he always keeps his word, why he doesn't lie or anything like that. Um, there is uh, quite a bit of humor in this, but it, it's it's pretty cheesy. And maybe if I read the entire story, part one, two, and three, I might like it better. But this was kind of dull. Uh, we begin with Pa Kent telling Lois of a time when Clark was just 10 years old. A solar eclipse has occurred which showcased the power that Clark would soon have. Something happened in issue one that made Clark run. He ran and ran. For an hour he ran until he ended up in a major city. He thought the city was Topeka, Kansas. He discovered a group of kids ganging up on another single kid. These kids were bullies. And Clark doesn't like bullies. He jumps in and helps the kid get away, but he's told by the gang that the kid was a criminal. He tried to kill the brother of the gang leader. Clark agrees to help the group of boys get the kid and take him to the police, but only if no weapons are involved. But it turns out the attempted murder was just the latest of a massive back and forth between two families, kind of like the Hatfields and McCoys, which ended with the, both boys shooting each other right in front of Clark. Clark makes his way to a payphone and calls home only to realize he's not in Topeka. He's not even in Kansas anymore, Toto. He had run from Smallville to Chicago, Illinois in less than an hour. Pa Kent took the little money he had that he couldn't really afford but had to for his son and he flew to Chicago to pick him up at the airport. Clark apologized to him, said... He was sorry for running out of his boundaries. Uh, he just, he was upset and all he wanted to do was run. And of course, Pa said it was okay. He understood. Um, but Clark ultimately decided from then on always to keep his word. Before, he always said that he'd never run out of his boundaries. Well, this day he had. And now he's learning why it's important to keep his word. After this, Lois is called to LexCorp Labs for a story that only she would be trusted with. Superman's head has been trapped in a portable portal, meaning his body's in one place at LexCorp Labs, but his head is somewhere else. Still attached to his body, but it, it, it's kind of like uh, the black holes in those old Roadrunner cartoons, which Lois actually makes a point to bring up. The criminals responsible are teasing the Man of Steel about his lack of body. But suddenly on the news, a crisis is announced. Lots of flooding overseas. Um, tons of people in trouble. Uh, thousands of people could die. And if the criminals let it happen when they know Superman could save the people, those deaths will be on their hands. So Superman convinces the leader of the group to let him go as long as he promises uh, to return and become just a head again. And of course Superman is always a man of his word. So the uh, criminal leader, the gang leader trusts him, lets him go help save the people. And eventually Superman returns and allows 
the group to put him back through the portal and keep him trapped like that. The next several pages of this comic play out pretty, uh, pretty intensely with the group taking Superman's head to uh, LexCorp and meeting with Lex Luthor. They pretty much they have a proposition for him. Basically, the group, the gang leader, invented these gloves that could create these portals, and he did so while working at LexCorp. He wants Lex to turn over the rights to those gloves to him, and any uh, any profits he plans on making from it or whatever. Um, and in return, they'll become partners in a crime venture. Well, Lex created his own pair of those gloves and decides, you know, what do I need you for? I've got my own. Well, that's when the team leader, the team leader pulls out this, uh, this object, which is, looks like a small version of Metropolis trapped behind an energy dump. But he pulls out a penny from his pocket and drops it. He tells Lex to go look outside and you see a giant penny just come falling down into the river. Uh, of course, Lex is pretty much, he's got Lex by the short and curlies at this point. And uh, Lex is pretty worried. So the guy is like, okay, now either do as I say, but... Or I've got all this other stuff in my pocket. I could drop it all nowhere near the water and destroy the entire city. So he drops it. And Lex, having the glo having gloves himself, opens the portal, allows Superman to fly through. And uh, he says to Superman, Superman, go. I need your help. You're the only one who can do it. Save my city. Um, so Superman flies off and that's where this issue ends. Um, like I said, I enjoyed the humor and the morality of this story, but it was still pretty disappointing. It is, it was almost too cliche. So I'll give Superman strength part two of three, um, which is titled The Long Run by Scott McCloud from 2005. Um, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I do plan on getting the other two issues uh, to the story The Man Who Broke Superman's Arm and Cloud Spitter just because I'm kind of a completionist and I'd like to read the entire story before I give a, make a, my final decision on it. So, there you have it. 5 out of 10 for Superman Strength Part 2, The Long Run. Um, if you're feeling up to it, go ahead. Go pick it up. Um, can't remember how much it was. But, I mean, it, it's, not, it's not too terribly much. Make your own decision on it. It... It is what it is, you know. So, there you guys go. Have a good one. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.